And so the expectation with the commands that he knows already, like sit, for example, is to comply the first time that I say, remain, and then if he does, he's rewarded. I build distance and I leave him there for longer periods of time. It will turn into a sit, stay. Right now, I'm not going to include that vocabulary, stay, because uh, I want him to remain for quite a while. And I also want to add distractions while he's in a sit, and I also want to um, go out of sight. Those are all high-level challenges, advanced challenges for um, a puppy especially in this type of work. So I'm going to release him right here, and then I'm going to reset him into an SIT. Bruno, all done. Bruno, all done. Good boy. Let's go back over here. Sit. Good boy. Ah, ah, ah. His paws have to stay on the ground. I don't want him jumping up. Good sit. I'll create distance. Leave him there for longer periods of time. This exercise will be extended, like I said before, with more time, more distance, and distractions. Good sit. Right now he's working for part of his dinner. Good sit. So we're working on four pieces of information, a command, praise, a correction, and then the final piece is his release phrase. Bruno, all done. Good boy. All done, all done. Good boy. So we can uh, repeat the release phrase, but we don't repeat the command. It's command, if he complies, praise. If he doesn't, correction. Then we can go ahead and repeat that command. But it's never a consecutive repetition, repetition of that command. That's